What is up everybody and welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Q and today is a glorious day. Okay, because after several weeks, months, I, at this point I probably lost track. I finally have gotten all the parts I need to build my PC. At least I hope I have all the parts I need to build this PC. Lord, please let me have all the parts I need to build this PC. Yeah, at this point I've, I've checked my parts list two, three times. I think I have everything that I need. This will be my first time ever doing this. I've never built a PC. And of course I chose probably one of the worst times in history to try to build a computer, but I'm special like that. So here we go. <laughs> Um, I know I've seen a few videos that are more of like a tutorial style that will tell you everything they're doing. I don't really know what I'm doing, so it seems like it wouldn't be the greatest idea to fully explain to you everything I'm doing because I might end up doing something wrong. Hopefully everything goes good. Mm, I hope this goes good. It was, it was a lot of money. It was, it was a lot of money, but, um, yeah, let's hop into the parts list. Okay, so for the case, we went with the O11 Dynamic Mini. It's a smaller case, but it can take a, a full-size ATX motherboard, which um, leads me to the motherboard I got, which was the Asus Tough Gaming X570 Pro Wi-Fi. Um, I went with that one because I wanted future-proof and I wanted Wi-Fi, and it matched my graphics card, which was the Asus Tough Gaming GeForce RTX 3060 with the 12 gigabytes. At this point with graphics cards, you kind of just gotta take what you can get. But uh, yeah, for the CPU, we went with the AMD Ryzen 9 5000 series, 5900X, it's 12 cores and 24 threads. And for the RAM, we went with uh, 32 gigs of Ballistics Crucial. It's, well, they're eight gig sticks, but I have four of them. And then for the hard drive, I went with a two terabyte NVMe drive, uh, 4.0. So hopefully that'll cover me for a while. And then I went with the Lian Li Unifans because I like the way they connect. And so for the case in total, we had nine of these. It helped keep the cabling down some. For the cooler, we went with the Kraken Z53, the AIO cooler, because it had the, actually I just like the digital scale and I was gonna get an NZXT one anyway. So this just seemed like the natural choice for me. For the power supply, we went with the Corsair SF750. It's a platinum rated, uh, power supply and it fit <laughs> for this case you need one of the smaller power supplies and there's not a lot of them to be honest and then we went with the Lian Lee streamer plus we didn't really need these I just thought these would be really cool for the aesthetic so we got the 8 pin and the 24 pin yeah I think that's everything so uh, let's get to build yo so I just opened this CPU and I'm wondering, some of y'all who like build PCs a lot, let me know why they would do this. Look at what? Look at this, bro. This right here, here's the chip. But the rest of this box seems kind of pointless. I don't know why it's so big. I mean, it seems like it could have easily been like the size of this, you know? Like, that would have fit. So I'm unclear as to why you need a box this big. I know the old ones used to have fans in it, but this is like the new, the new series. So they don't have, the, they have no need for the fans anymore. So why make the box that big? All right, I'm just writing. Anyway, the thing's actually heavier than I expected, but uh, back to the build.
Okay, so quick update. Um, I got a lot of stuff in. I managed to get the um, the Unifans in. Um, these are actually set to like intake mode. Normally, you would see the black circle on the back, but I managed to take the caps off of the front because normally the front looks like uh, like that. It has the silver on the front. These are, this is actually the back of these. I managed to flip the caps. Um, I got in one of my uh, streamers. Haven't gotten in the graphics card and all of that yet. Wired up um, a lot of this stuff in the front. But uh, let me see. I got to show you guys what the back of this looks like. That's what's been uh, the most challenging. All right. See, yeah, so... The wiring is the part I thought was going to be the hardest, and it pretty much is. There are cables everywhere, so I'm trying to get stuff plugged in so I can then start to try to tie them down or Velcro stuff that needs to be Velcro. Uh, I got the uh, power brick in. This power brick is amazing, man. It's like my hand is bigger than this power brick, bro. This thing is tiny. I don't know if that comes across on screen. But, uh, but yeah. So for now, I'm going to try to get the rest of the stuff in here. Um, I may try to set up my webcam to get a little bit more time-lapse stuff. I uh, found that it's kind of hard to get a good angle to get a lot of the time-lapse stuff. So that's why there's not so much of it. But uh, 
But yeah, I'm gonna try to set it up. All right. Okay, uh, quick update. I um, haven't put them back on the computer yet. Let me see. Show you guys that if I can. Okay, see, cables and everything are still out. Yeah, but for all intent and purposes, I think I have done everything I need to be able to boot it. So. <sighs> Fingers crossed we're going to try the first boot, see if it'll power on here. Let me see. Okay, so I'm guessing I forgot to turn on the power switch from the back. Right, let's see. Let's see if that gives us anything. All right. Got some lighting from the motherboard. That's good. That's about all we have. That's not good. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Okay. That is a lot of RGB. <laughs> I'm going to try to see if I can get all this figured out. See if it posts. Uh, oh, and it did post. Came up to BIOS. It is working. Fans all seem to be working. Let me see. Cooler seems to be working. I'm pretty happy right now, man. All right. Well, I'm going to try to probably have to try to power it off because I just realized I didn't put a, a keyboard. I'm going to try to plug in a keyboard and then uh, 
yeah, see about setting up windows. All right, man. I will catch y'all later. Okay, and so here is what the final product ended up looking like. Um, I have the fans set to orange right now to match my little character, uh, Zenitsu. And then you see uh, that the cooler is set to run a GIF, which is cool. You can put any sort of GIF on it, or you can have it just display temperatures. Uh, I have the RAM set to yellow, and the streamer set to do like a wave of yellow. The streamers have a bunch of different uh, variations of colors and different things they can do and different patterns. But I just have it set to the basic yellow. Same thing with the with the RAM. It can do a bunch of different colors and variations, but I just have it set for yellow because I realize that it seems like a lot of the color is not picked up very well with my camera. I don't know why. I don't know. Let me just tell you, the camera does doesn't do this any justice. Like it, it's beautiful when you see it in person. But I realize on here the colors just. I guess it's so bright they get kind of blown out. And when I try to lower the colors, it just doesn't look right. Um, also, you see this little stand right here. Uh, it says like AMD on it. I 3D printed that and I painted and put it in here because this graphics card, man, is a beast. It's kind of long and it'll like sag some. So I just put that in there to kind of make sure I don't have any problems with sagging. Um, but yeah. So this is it. It's got the glass and everything on now. Got my little figure on top of it. But um, I'm super happy with the way it turned out. Um, it was definitely time consuming and frustrating at times because I didn't know what I was doing. So I do apologize for not having footage of everything because sometimes I would get to working on stuff and I would just get frustrated or I'd be so focused on something that I would forget to get any footage. But, uh, but yeah, definitely don't regret it. And I, I swear, man, it looks beautiful. I don't know if it, if the colors are coming through great on here, but I have all of the, all the fans running orange except the ones at the top. I have them running white so that you can kind of see the figure. When I have them all running orange, it looks kind of dark, but I wanted, every, wanted you guys to be able to see what everything inside looks like. But, uh, but yeah, man, I would uh, consider that a success. Uh, more coming soon. Got some other cool stuff to show you guys. But, uh, yeah. As always, man, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Love you guys. Don't make it weird. I guess that works.